So this is Call of Duty Mobile, and I've been playing it for a little bit over the last couple of days, just trying to get into things, really. Playing games on mobile is really not my forte, but you know what, I thought I'd give it a go. With the big hype surrounding Modern Warfare launching later this month, I downloaded Call of Duty Mobile on the very first day and gave it a shot because I wanted to see what Activision had done for a mobile game in comparison to some of their console and PC titles. Now this video is sponsored by Activision, but in this video I'm really just going to give you some of my very first initial impressions of the game, having played just a couple of hours so far. And if you think this game might be something that you want to give a shot, click the link at the top of the description and you can go and download the game for Android or iOS. Now the footage in the background is one of my very first games in Call of Duty Mobile, so forgive me if some of the aiming is a bit bad. I am slowly getting better, but obviously someone like me who's used to gaming with a mouse and keyboard, using my thumbs on a glass screen, that is going to take some getting used to. So first things first, this is a mobile game and it's a first person shooter so you will have to get used to the control scheme. As soon as you boot up the game, this is a good feature, you are met with a tutorial that runs you through the simple and the advanced movement choices and depending on which one you are more comfortable with, you can pick one or the other and then you move on to the main game. I'm using the simple control, so firing the gun, that's done automatically when an enemy is in your crosshairs, but you retain control over whether you want to fire in hip fire or you want to aim down the sights for more precise control. Not having played too many mobile shooter games before, I am still very much just starting out and simple was a lot more comfortable for me. Once you get a hang for the controls and the movement, you then have to start understanding where the different buttons are on the screen. So you've got buttons for crouch, buttons for jump, throw a grenade, all of the basic stuff that you can do in a normal Call of Duty game, but here on mobile, all of those options are on the screen for you all the time. I have to say it is quite easy to move around the maps and get a few kills on people, but in the first couple of matches I played, I didn't really use the jump button or the crouch button as much as I should have, because if I had, I wouldn't have died as much to just simply standing still trying to reload my gun when someone else who has got a bit more experience than me so far was just shooting me straight in the face. As I got more comfortable with the controls and I knew what maps I was playing on, I started to use the crouch button so I could hide behind cover when I was reloading. I died way less when that was happening, so it's all just a learning curve. Once you get into it, it's fairly easy, but it will take you a few matches. Once you start working through those matches, you do start to unlock things like different attachments for your weapons, different primary weapons, different secondaries that you can equip, different gadgets and even more really like just any other Call of Duty game that you've ever played. It's all accessible within the main menus before you jump into multiplayer matches and you can set up multiple different loadouts ready to go. So depending on what map comes up, you can make a quick switch or if you keep dying to an enemy or you keep going around a corner and the enemy team are holding that part of the map and you want to try something different, then you can switch loadouts when you die. Despite being a total novice at the moment and still sort of getting my eye in when it comes to the aiming in Call of Duty Mobile, it is really cool to be loading into some of the maps from the previous Call of Duty games and playing on them once again, but those maps now being in a game that's current and active. Everyone loves throwing back to the older games that they used to play, everyone loves a bit of nostalgia, but obviously the experience is never quite the same as it once was when the game was active and current. Call of Duty Mobile takes those older iconic maps that you know and love from previous games and they are the same maps from the previous games, they haven't really been changed and Mobile puts them into a game that everyone is currently playing and having fun with and it brings back some of those memories and some of those good times from older days in my gaming career. Firing range from the original Black Ops, that's one of my favourite maps ever from the Call of Duty franchise, and it's here in Call of Duty Mobile. I don't really think I've ever told anyone this before, I certainly haven't mentioned it on my channel, but back when Black Ops was the current Call of Duty game, I think I clocked around 250 to 300 hours on PS3 in that game, just because I love the maps, I like the setting, I like the gunplay, and I like the zombies mode in that game as well. I was really no different to millions of other people back in the day. I was kind of addicted to Call of Duty. So yeah, so far I'm having a really good time with Call of Duty Mobile, which kind of surprised me because I don't play that many mobile games, but this really does feel 
like a fully fledged Call of Duty game on a mobile phone. That kind of surprised me. I didn't really expect it to be that way when I heard that a Call of Duty mobile game was being created. I thought it would be slightly different, maybe gauged towards a different market, but no, it does just feel like a Call of Duty game on your mobile phone. I'm enjoying the fact that I get to play on some of those older maps that I love from previous games, and I'm enjoying unlocking different items for my weapons and building different loadouts that, that I like playing with. It feels like a Call of Duty game, and I'm having good fun with it. I need to work up a little bit more so that I can unlock the Battle Royale mode, and when I do, I might post some gameplay of that because I've heard it's actually really good fun, but for now, I am enjoying a nice kick of nostalgia being dropped back into some of those older maps from the Call of Duty franchise. But yeah, those are my first thoughts and impressions of Call of Duty Mobile. Let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Let me know if you're playing it and what your experience has been so far. If you aren't playing it, then I do recommend that you give it a go, see if it's for you. Click the link at the top of the description, go download the game on iOS or Android. It is free to play, so you've got really nothing to lose by giving it a try. It might not be for you, it might be for you, but there's no harm in downloading it and giving it a go. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.